My name is Henry Milroy and I'm the founder of Pan and Ice. Back in June 2015, I was studying at the University of Birmingham doing mechanical engineering. And after my second year summer exams, I went on a two week holiday with a friend around um, Southeast Asia. We basically stumbled across this um, stall in the middle of a street and it, they, were, they were making this, these, these rolled ice creams. And we literally looked at each other and was like, why is this not in the UK? We've never seen it before. It's got a huge audience, you know, let's, let's bring this back. That was it. I decided this is what I wanted to do. And I dropped out of uni the following day. And from that moment onwards, it's been pan and nonstop. We began very quickly exploring, you know, what was the liquid they were pouring on. We didn't know whether it was milk, cream. We had no idea what this thing was. We actually used to, you know, after we saw it that night, we went back there the following few nights and tried to like gain information. We were taking pictures of like the cream they're pouring on. Um, we then looked at things like the branding, the logo, um, you know, how are we gonna, how are we actually gonna create a brand around this product? We had no idea what to do. This was all just completely new to us. Ideas of logos, and we were looking at inspiration from other brands. Um, some of our initial designs were, was gonna be like a flying cow holding, holding these spatulas. Um, <laughs> We had, we had loads of different ideas. We then took those sort of ideas um, and then sent them to a graphic designer who was a, a mate of ours. Um, and he basically, first time round, almost came round, came up with this logo that we, we use today, um, which is, the, which is the, the, you know, the running cup with a little roll sticking up the top. Um, so yeah, that, and that is the logo that we created today. And in regards to the name, um, Pan and Ice, Again, that was just me thinking about, you know, it's an ice pan. Um, ice pan doesn't sound very good. And I just, I, it sounds weird. I just literally flip, flip them around, go pan ice, and then put an N in the middle, pan and ice, and it just worked. Again, we, we didn't think about things too much. We were so naive, which I think has been really beneficial. We didn't know, you know, whether this would work out or not. We just kind of went with, with what, you know, sounded good at the moment. So I went on Google, you know, searched, cold pan ice cream you know I was searching everything I spent all day and night trying to find this bloody thing and was having you know no success at all and then eventually I found somewhere in China that did this you know that that made this ice roll plate looking at the lead times we knew we had to be in that event within a couple months so we knew we had to get this thing ordered then the other components were things like the ice cream mix um, so Funny story, we actually, the way I actually found out about the ice cream mixes, um, because I didn't have an ice cream, one of these machines at home, I had, to, you know, I had to think, you know, how am I gonna find out this ice cream mix before these machines come? Because I won't have time to do it when I get the machines, it'd be too late. So I literally um, got a baking tray from the oven and I, I went to get some, I had to find a dry ice supplier, which is basically really cold ice. And then I yeah, went, went and collected that in my little car. I had to drive really quickly home because before you know it would lose its temperature. And then what I did, I got the, the, a baking tray. I put this dried ice underneath the baking tray, then put a napkin over the top of it, and then put this bake, and then put the tray on top. And then that basically, I was hoping would create an, an ice pan, um, and it did. Um, so then what I did, I you know I went to the supermarket. I was trying things like milk. I was trying yogurt. I was trying milk with sugar. I was I was trying a whole host of different things just to see what would work. Um, and I, I eventually I got to some stuff which worked, but again, nothing was really rolling because it does have to be a certain, you know, consistency to have to roll up. Um, but then finally, after speaking to some people, I found out, you know, about a new product which I could use. And then that's what we used for the first couple of years of Pan and Ice and it worked really well. Bearing in mind, Normally when you go to these sort of events, they're asking for pictures of the product. They're asking for pictures of your stand. Um, we didn't have any of that. The funny story is the machines, these ice roll machines, they actually turned up in China the, uh, the afternoon before this event. So they turned up. Um, we spent all night, literally all night, learning how to make this thing. We had never done it before. We'd, we'd only got videos from our trip in Thailand to like go by. So we were literally up all night trying to make trying to make these ice cream rolls um it was you know we weren't they weren't pretty we we finally got there um just before where we could actually deliver a few ice cream rolls then our, then our first ever customer came that was the first chance that actually seen from like a dream from like a idea to actually seeing something physically there 
that was our baby that we had created. Obviously it was still very small, it, has, it wasn't making any money, but just seeing that gazebo with our branding on it, had our logo on it and stuff, you know, I had tagline across the top, our machines, everything there, ours, that was like a huge moment of like, you know, relief almost that we had done it.